As a young girl, I would dream that I was flying and wonder, what do they feel like? So I looked at my husband and I said, well, I've always wanted to fly. Well, we started flying every chance we could get. We heard about this group flying farmers and thought, we're farmers and we fly? People look at you, what is a flying farmer? And then they want to check the, fe the feathers under your arm. We're farmers, and then the flying is the fun part of the whole thing. Flying farmers, so many of us have our own strips. Call up a friend, a state away, say, come for lunch. Small airplanes, people flying for fun in their businesses, farming and ranching. They got political and they were hauling calves up to the president and stuff like that. When I was queen of international flying farmers, I'd be speaking to women about being able to fly in any capacity to empower them. You always were there to help your neighbors. Farmers had to work together in our flying farmer group too. And they're like, whoa, you're a girl who's farming. I was raised with the flying farmers. I was the first woman hired by an airline to fly a jet equipped aircraft. The most important thing that the flying farmers were doing was encouraging young people to get their pilot's license. A 100 to 200 general aviation airplane, it was a fantastic sight to see. Everybody had a fly in to show up saying, hey, I'm a flying farmer. You get together and you see a lot of your friends. Instead of going for a Sunday drive, we would go for a Sunday flight. Watching those planes run in and out is exciting. It's fast and it's loud and it sounds cool. NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like a pit crew and we have to fuel one and fill one. There is a commercial pilot shortage coming. A lot of us with gray hair. Go in five years, the International Flying Farmers, just to still be here. There's not as many young pilots becoming members of the Flying Farmers. In Arizona, we were farming. That has since changed. It's been sold, and it's growing houses and shopping centers. 50 years ago, than 50% of our populations were agrarian, and now it's less than 2%. We're on our way to a fly-in. It was like a perfect storm. Dug it into the lake there. Trying to wheel us upside down. Really. I thought, this is it, you're gonna die. I had to work through my own fear. I don't want to see the thing die. Dad never gives up, and he will figure out a way to make it work. It brings a point home to you. That's what you have with each other, that's all you need. We as farmers are the stewards of the land. I want to make sure that I've done everything I can to preserve the land for future generations. <laughs>